Hello everybody, this is Zephyrianek, and welcome to a game I've wanted to play for quite some time now. This is Dragon Age Origins. This has been in my Steam library since, I think the last major Steam sale. I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. I want to play it now, and I'm going to be trying to do it at 1080p FPS, 1080p FPS, 1080p 60 FPS. If I can't do that, then I'll just bump it back down to 30. I'll check after a first episode or so. But yeah, I will probably not be playing Inquisition simply because that comes out on the, 15th, on the 18th, and I'm recording this on the 15th, so I'm, this is the first time I'm playing through the game the on the 15th. Us In addition to the fact that I don't have the money to dish out, dish out $60 games right now, but I shall hush now, and we shall play through this. To usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. Cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. Sorry about having to close that. I forgot to do that just a minute ago. That will be gone from now on. They returned as monsters, the first of the dark spawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. Dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Well, they look like they could be in better shape. Oh, they got through. You get stabbed. Until the Grey Wardens came. And fuck Men shit up, and apparently. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. Oh, yeah, they really did fuck shit up. <laughs> oh. The obligatory dwarf. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the darkspawn to return. Oh, they appear to have been lynched. Called us heroes, have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. You know, I'm not meaning to be overly critical of a game a few years old, but that blood just looks painted on. <laughs> it's amazing how far. Things have came since this game was made. This only made a few years back. Eyes, but lies on the horizon. This doesn't look bad, not by any stretch of the imagination, but there's stuff now that blows this out of the water. Which is ridiculous, because it's only been a few years since this. I'll say now this is my first playthrough of this. I think I already said that earlier, but either way, this is my first playthrough. I will likely make a ton of mistakes, and please let me make them. I very much want to make those mistakes, because I want to experience this as much as I can. The background you, se you select will determine which of the six distinct opening stories you play through. It also affects how your character respond to you throughout the how character characters respond to you throughout the game. Be a male, there is human. I believe this is elf. Yeah, that's definitely elf. Once enslaved by humans, most elves have all but lost their culture. Blah blah blah. Do do do. Start with plus two willpower and two magic. What do the humans start with? Want strength, dexterity, magic, and cunning. I'm assuming the dwarves start with strength and dex- not dexterity. Strength, dexterity, and constitution. I don't know why I said not dexterity. 10% chance to resist magic. Hostile magic, of course. Interesting. This might be a stereotypical thing, but part of me wants to go with an elf rogue. Typically because that's how I enjoy playing characters. I enjoy playing that rogue style with bows and arrows and daggers. But there's also part of me that really, really enjoys warriors too and mages are always a fun class i think mages and well a magi as this says 
and rogues are typically my two favorite characters to play as. I don't normally enjoy playing as warrior type, type, type. What the hell is a type? <laughs> type classes in video games. Hmm. Rogue. Rogue specializations are ranger, bard, duelist, and assassin. Mages don't apparent apparently don't have specializations. Oh no! Wait, I'm sorry. I clicked the wrong thing. Nope. Okay, they don't. And warriors include Berserker, Templar, Champion, and Reaver. I think part of, I think I'm gonna go with the Rogue. Alright. Darkish Elf. No, that's Dalish Elf, I'm sorry. Proud of your role as one of the few true elves. You have always assumed you would spend your life with your tribe, until a chance encounter with a relic of your people's past threatens to tear you away from everything you have ever known. I like the armor that's on that. That bow looks like it'd be kind of hard to fire considering it doesn't have a string on it. You just club people with it. Or a city elf, which starts with daggers as opposed to the bows, and some really cool looking armor if I may say so. You've always lived under the heavy thumb of your human overlords, but when a local lord claiming his privilege with the bride shatters your wedding day, the simmering racial tensions explode in a rain of vengeance. This is more me, to be honest. Out in... this seems like it'd be more of a naturistic one, and I don't deal well with cities. I never really have, but I kind of want to see what the backgrounds of the other ones are. Magi is the only background that an elf can have here. Can the other ones have a different background? Well, okay, then the dwarf can only be, can't be a mage, and that makes perfect sense. What are theirs? The same thing as that bait. No, wait, that was the wrong class, my bad. No, actually, no, those end up being the same there. So, I think I'm going to start off as a uh, an elf rogue. A Dalish Elf Rogue. Greetings. Next. I didn't hear what he said, well, or what I said, technically, I suppose, in any way, shape, or form. I'm not going to use a preset. I'm actually going to try and make a character that looks at least semi-nice. Skin complexion. Hmm. I think... I bet there it looks okay. Skin. For a second, it looked yellow. Huh. Make a... I've never seen a dark-skinned elf before. All right, let's leave that about there. Tattoo. Oh, the, some of those look really... That one looks really cool, I'll be honest. I'd rather not have one, though, considering I personally don't have a facial tattoo. I can adjust the... Actually, hang on a second. Oh! You can have, like, very, very subtle effects on that, too. That's... That's really kind of cool. Now, I'll be honest, I also don't know a terribly large bit amount... Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know a ton about this game. Typically, the kinds of games I've played like this, I had a lot of experience with Champions of Norath. And thoroughly loved it, and been looking for another game even vaguely similar to that for a very long time. I know that this isn't even close to D Champions of Norath, because Norath was basically a dungeon crawler. And this is more story-driven than that was. Champions of Norath, was a, it was a PlayStation 2 game. That's That's way too short of hair for me. Can you change the length of it? It doesn't seem you can. Okay. Uh, I guess that, that works just fine. Hair color. Anyway, Champions North was released in, oh man, the early 2000s, I believe. And my dad and I, we played that extensively to the point where our, game, our copy of the game broke. And we can never get function again. We just never really have bought another one again. But... <laughs> that, that eye shape, that's very, very open eyes. I think that works. Eye size. Hmm. How small do they got? Oh, those are some pretty small eyes. You can make the Beavis and Butthead characters with this, I feel. Uh, let's leave them right about there. Slightly larger than average. Eye spacing. Definitely not out that far and definitely not in that narrow. I think there's about good. Right there seems about fine. This entire first episode will probably be character creation. I will say that now. Eye height. Uh... Right about there seems good. Eye color. I want to get those as close to a green as I can because my eyes are green. There we go. Ah. Hmm. I wish you could zoom in right now. I will say that. That seems like it'd be a great idea on something like this. It's what's always driven me mad about some of the character creations in any game. Like, uh, the Elder Scrolls games are good examples of that, I feel. Because I know in Oblivion you could to a degree, but I know in Skyrim you cannot zoom in on your character. At least I haven't found a way to in what I've played. 
Most of my experience, however, with that has been on the consoles, and this is on. I'm recording this on my PC. No shape. That's not what my nose looks like. My nose is a little bit straighter than that. Actually, that's probably a bit closer to what mine is, only that's... Can I change the width? There we go. Nostril width. I think that's a bit closer to my nose. The tip width. Just the tip. No, no, don't go to jaw and cheeks yet. It's a little too narrow at the tip. Okay, I think that's good. What about the depth? That's fine. I think that's okay. I'm not aiming to make, like, the most attractive character in the world. The mouth height. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's ridiculous. My chin is nowhere near that big. Lip size. No. New. No. Actually, that's a bit closer. I don't particularly... In real life, I don't have a particularly large mouth. The, way, the mouth that I talk, you would expect that I do, but... And I have a... Bit more of an overbite than I have an underbite. That works. I just look really like this character just looks really stone faced right now. Jaw and cheeks. Cheekbone depth. Well, that was an interesting experience at looking at a character model right there. The depth. Hmm. I think right there is about fine. The width. Well, that's a little too large for my cheekbones. Elves, I think, just kind of naturally start with thinner cheekbones. I mean, at least typically in any game I've played, they have smaller faces. More angular. Generally how elves have looked throughout lore, as far as I'm aware. I think that's about good. Chin height. Oh, you can make a really long chin. You can make, like, the cleft chin. For those of you who have watched Fairly Odd Parents as a kid or now, you'll probably understand that reference. I watched that all the time when I was younger. It's a really funny show when you're a child until they, it, it got stupid after a while and I stopped enjoying it as much. The jaw width. I think about there is good. Well, by again, it got stupid. I guess you could say that I just got older, maybe. Ear height. That's about good. Ear size. Oh, you can make really large ears or really tiny elf ears. Well, that really just kind of increases the Makes them look more, tri not triangular, but you get what I'm trying to say. Neck thickness. You can make either a really thin neck or like a Corey Taylor from Slipknot neck. Oh, wow, that's really thin. Let's go about there. Portrait. Oh, and that's right here, correct? It is indeed. Turn left and turn right. Yeah, slightly off to the side like that would be a lot better. Considering when you get something that's like that, it just looks kind of too similar to a mug shot in my mind. Unless it's like a caricature of something. Then it kind of makes more sense. Let's take the camera distance. Yeah, I want that out as much as I can because I don't know if that'll affect, be changed based off of armor. Up and down. Do, 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 do. Hello, my honey. Hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime dog. <laughs> uh, what's the back? Oh. I like the green one. I must say, I like the green one. Oh, there's spacey looking things too. I want the green one. Green is my, my favorite color. <laughs> Those. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping that. <laughs> okay. Let's. Nick. <laughs> Nick. Oh, I, I can't go to last name, it seems. Uh, is it not going to let me change my last name? I don't know if it lets you change your last name, because it's not letting me do it. I'm okay with that. I was going to name it Nick Zephyrian, but... No, it is gone. How do you do? That doesn't seem cocky at all. Greetings. That's like the perfect voice for this. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Greetings. Greetings. Oh, my spell. What does it take to kill these things? None of these seem particularly violent either. Well, that one was a little more violent. Greetings. Blast it! I have lost the spell. It is unharmed. 
Yeah, that sounds like something that fit a gnome a bit better. How do you do? Damn, lost the spell. Hmm, new weapon. Scoot. Off I go. That's not fitting. I have lost the spell. A lot of these aren't very fitting to what they seem like. But I'm going to go with Charm. It didn't work. It's not working. That sounds like the voice actor from Edge that plays Edge in Star Ocean. Side, please. Somewhat. How do you do? Greetings. There's no, you know, beginner voice that says, oh, hey, I'm new, or something like that. Uh, How do you do? Right. This is not let's go with the cocky voice. That seems, that seems a bit better, the penisy voice. It really has bothered me that I can't seem to adjust my, la my last name. I don't want to be known as my my hair or hell. <laughs> ah, fine, screw it. I don't really care. All right, now these are some basic stuff. Constitution is health and resilience. Cunning, I'm assuming, has to do with thievery and stealth. Character learns and reasons. Actually, let's let's boost that up one. That seems like it'd be a good idea. Physical prowess and directly affects what they deal in physical combat, and the accuracy of melee attacks. I'll probably need that at some point because you know these guys are gonna have daggers eventually. I can guarantee it. Dexterity up one seems like a great idea. Willpower up one seems like a great idea. That's mostly magic, though. And constitution. Bringing health up seems like it'd be a a, a wise <laughs> idea. Next. Okay. We can use one here. Coercion. Is influential enough to convince others to change their views? Strength, contr Strength contributes to a more intimidating character. Kind of contributes to a persuasive character. Stealing, that seems like a great idea. I'm gonna probably play as a thief or something. Why am I, I don't know, trap making? Okay, survival. Hmm. That seems useful. It, it would fit this character as well. Herbalism, also would fit this character. Poison making, that would fit this character even more. Why are grenades in a poison making? <laughs> I will poison you with my grenade. No one, no one says that. Combat training, eh. and combat tactics. That, I will be honest, that seems like it would be a much better bet. It really does. Because I have a feeling that that's going to be something that would come into play very quickly in the game. But coercion seems, ah, it's down to coercion, stealing, and combat tactics. But I think I'm going to go with combat tactics. Okay, and then we get to some abilities. Dual fighting. Quickly incap... Dirty fighting, I'm sorry. Quickly incap incapacitates a target but takes no damage from the attack. Who take... I'm sorry. The rogue incapitate incapacitates, is what I'm trying to say. A target who takes no damage from the attack but is stunned for a short time. Rogue delivers a swift and unsportsmanlike kick to the target. Oh, it's called below the belt. That's amazing. Dealing normal combat damage as well as imposing penalties to defense movement speed unless the target possesses... Passes a physical resistance check. Deft hands. All rogues have some understanding of opening locks and traps, but particularly dexterous hands and a steady grip give a character a bonus when picking locks or disarming traps. Okay. And then stealth. I'm gonna go with stealth and deft hands. And then, oh yeah, could have leveled up some of these as well. Oh, archery. I didn't know these were down here, actually. Uh, hmm. Those are just rogue abilities. Well, I can't get any of these anyway because I need combat training. Alright, well, whatever. Play. I'm going to play this on normal. I'm definitely not playing any of the harder nightmare right now, and I don't want to wuss out and go on easy. Alright, right click on a photo attack. Use a talent like Pinning Shot or Spill Like Winter's Grasp. I shall indeed try to remember to do these things. Oh, wow, the, the frame rate while this is loading. The Dalish Elves. Noble wanderers who refused to join the society of humans that subjugated their homeland so long ago. That does sound like me. The Dalish traveled the land in tightly knit clans, struggling to maintain their half forgotten law in a human world that fears and despises. That's not a human, that appears to be a deer. You spend your time Very hunting confused, with deer. your clanmate Tamlin in the forests. And as is sometimes the case, your quarry is not always the local wildlife. A god, a human! That's a really ugly looking set of clothing, dude. It's a Dalish! And you fear Good observation. somewhere you shouldn't be. Let us pass, elf. He's you not even holding no onto right the to arrow. I do too, you're on my land, no. you son of a bitch. 
I put you down, you see? That, oh, now there's two of us. You're just in time. I found these humans lurking in the bushes. Bandits, no doubt. We aren't bandits, I swear. Please don't hurt us. Then you back away. Pathetic. It's hard to believe you ever drove us from our homeland. We've never done nothing to you, David. That, okay, to be fair, that's easy to say when you're pointing a bow at yours. them. This forest isn't ours, fool. You've stumbled too close to our camp. You shems are like vermin. We can't trust you enough to make mischief. Okay, vermin don't necessarily make mischief. Alone. They just try to survive. What do do with them? Hmm. I want to find out what they're doing here. Does it matter? Hunting or banditry, we'll need to move camp if we let them live. Oh, that's me. Oh, I just realized that. We didn't come here to be trouble. We just found a cave. Yes, a cave with ruins like I've never seen. We thought there might be, uh... Treasure. So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits. Yeah. I'd like to see these ruins. There are keys, but no ruins. Hmm. They never said that they went there. They just said that they spotted it. So would I. I've never heard of ruins in these parts. But I, I have proof. Here. Oh, well, maybe they did we say they're there. I'm sorry. If I had missed that, then I missed it. This stone has carvings. Is this elvish? Written elvish? There's, there's more in the ruins. <laughs> we didn't get very far in, though. The character model, the facial expressions are actually very well done. Why not? It was a demon. It was huge with black eyes. Thank the maker black who eyes? It. Interesting. A demon. Where is this cave? Just off the west, I think. The voice acting this There's is incredible so far, too. And a huge hole just inside. Well, do you trust them? Shall we let them go? Can we... Hmm. We fight them enough, they won't bother us. So I can bring a mob back to drive us out. Ah, uh, I want... Okay, part of me wants to be nice about this. But part of me wants to say they should all just freaking die. I'm gonna hit two. Along, then, Shems. And don't come back until we Dalish have moved on. Of course. Thank you. They Thank better you. remember that. I spared their lives. I could have killed all of them. Well, shall we see if there's any truth to their story? These carvings make me curious. They make me curious, too. I actually really want to see that. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. And if we find this isn't a good idea. <laughs> He's gonna die. All right, variety of tactile view. I didn't mean to do that. Pause. You can issue orders to your character. Right click on your desired destination. Character now has a move order. You can issue orders in real time or while pause. Press space to unpause. Okay, and then it saves. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm gonna pause this real quick, and I'm gonna say that that is going to. Okay, pause. I'm going to say that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching this first episode. This will continue after this if as for as long as I can do it because I've really wanted to play this for quite some time. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.